Meet Sandra Mbata, a 20-year-old student at the University of Stellenbosch. Across South Africa, students have been struggling to keep up with the cost of tuition at tertiary institutions, leaving them barely able to afford their courses, yet alone able to secure affordable residences near their universities. One such space is Stellenbosch, where students not only have to struggle with fees and housing, but an extra burden is placed on students of colour as they combat racism at the institution. I don't think that your, your thing is racist. My name is Sandra Mbata. I am an ordinary person, I like to think. I'm a student at Stellenbosch University in my third or final year studying international studies. I'm in the house comm, which means that I'm on the leadership team of the house. So I get to make decisions that are in the best interest of the students that live at this residence. Last year I was on the SASCO, which is the South African Students Congress um, branch executive and on that executive I was transformation and political officer. Uh, I'm currently treasurer of Amnesty International and I am a part of, I've signed up for a lot of com like subcoms just to get involved and do my piece. So I've signed up to be on the Children's Foundation Committee, UNASA as well, so the United Nations Association of South Africa. My Stellenbosch story is a funny story. It's actually not funny. It's it's a sad reality, but I'm also very glad that it happened to me and that I was the one who kind of got to experience what I did. My heart was set on coming to Stellenbosch. I was I told myself I'm gonna beat all the odds and I'm gonna go to Stellenbosch and I'm gonna be that person in my family that actually has a real degree and a real like has actually has graduated. Stellenbosch sent me an email saying we've got space for you. You're accepted to Stellenbosch University, but I still was very unsure of who's gonna fund my education. I came to Stellenbosch with absolutely nothing. That on its own teaches you who you are and what you're there for. And if you don't have the flashy, glamorous things, you know that your purpose here is to study. And you, you left home telling your mom that in three years' time you're gonna come back with a degree, and that is what you're here for. So I work with Sasco's Right to Learn campaign, or I did last year. And basically what the campaign aims to do is assist vulnerable students um, to get accommodation people that cannot afford the 13,000 because you have a 13,000 rand fee that you have to pay to secure your spot in residence. So a lot of vulnerable students, by vulnerable I mean people that don't have 13,000 rand just chilling around waiting for them to pay for residence. People that didn't have that, they came to university regardless of the fact that they didn't have a place to stay. And what we tried to do is find them accommodations. So I knew that I had experienced this the exact same thing where you know where I was going to sleep. So I knew how it felt to have those thoughts and constantly think that you are misplaced and that there's nothing for you, like just go home. I knew what it felt to experience that. We mustn't just consider the people that are able to pay the 13,000 because that's not how South Africa is. Not everyone is going to pay the 13,000. We need to make provisions for those people. We need to secure funds for those that all those students that can't afford to pay that 13,000. We just know if you cannot afford to pay it so that we can make the provisions before you come so that we can secure you a space before you come. So we did this 200 beds initiative under Sviso Zoom. We're demanding 200 beds in each and every res of each and every race where we know that we can place people um, to sleep. So that was my role to make sure that that 200 beds initiative is um, seen through. Like I've made a lot of personal sacrifices but I don't like to gloat about what I've given up. I like to make people feel seen and important and by giving and sacrificing they feel seen and they feel important and they feel like they have a role to play in Stellenbosch. Being black in Stellenbosch, it's, it means so much. It means having the strength to understand and to accept that things will not change now, but you can be the catalyst. I want other black girls and boys to look up to me and say, wow, I actually can do it because other people can.